You got it when you uh, had yeah. the clue. Do you remember when you went to college? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey, Harper's Bazaar, I'm Julianne Moore. And I'm Natalie Portman. And we're going to answer some trivia questions that are all about us. Is there a winner or a loser? Is this a competition or is this like oh, a... Oh, that's, that's a good element to bring into right? this. I know, Prizes? I know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens, right? Julianne played twins on which soap opera? Was it Days of Our Lives? Oh! <laughs> People have been saying it to you too. I know. What was it? As the world turns. Oh. Different networks too. Sorry, friend. Yeah. <laughs> it was the beginning of my career, and I was so, so happy. D.W. Moffat actually was in As the World Turns with me. He plays my ex-husband in, in our movie, Made December. He played my lawyer when I was on trial for murder, a murder I did not remember because I had amnesia. It turned out that I didn't commit it, so I got off. <laughs> You lived in multiple states growing up, including Alaska. Which of your May-December co-stars was born in Alaska? Charles Melton, Juneau, Alaska, to be precise. And that's where I went to the fifth grade. So amazing. Isn't crazy? So amazing. Yeah, he really was phenomenal. I read with him initially too, because Todd asked me to come in to do a, a reading when he was auditioning for the part, and it was so clear that he was the right person right away. He's very, very thoughtful. He's really present. He's such a hard worker. I can't imagine anybody else playing this part. Honestly, I just, I just love being with him. He's a lovely person too. Have either of you ever watched Riverdale? Yeah, shame to say. I haven't seen Riverdale either. I'm gonna add it to my watch list tonight. There you go. As the world turns. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these answers. Uh-oh. I'm not prepared for this test. You don't have to be. Julie. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> this is so stressful. Which accent did Julianne adopt for her role on 30 Rock? Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to give you I don't know. I? I don't know. Um, um, Can I give her a clue? Yeah. Do you remember where I went to college? Do you remember where you went to college? <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. Boston? Yeah, it's a Boston, Boston accent. accent. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Tonight's top story. A Worcester man accused of trading his foster son for gasoline. There I'm going to be rewatching all this stuff. You got it when you oh, had yeah. the clue. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember where you went to college? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Which TV show did Natalie make her rap debut on? Saturday Night Live. Oh, you're so good! <laughs> you know all the answers! I have to say, I don't know how I know this. I didn't see you do it, but I've seen clips of it. Because it's kind of like out there, and it's funny. My kids like it a lot, so I have seen it again because they like to watch it. Yeah. And anything to get cool points with them. <laughs> Natalie is a co-owner of which soccer team? The Angels? Angel City. Okay, hey, you got it. You're so right, good. Okay. I heard the angel part today. I heard as the world turns. <laughs> Couldn't keep that in my brain, so. <laughs> we have 14 former US Women's National Team players, incredible sports people, actresses. It's been really fun, because now we all get to hang out together at the games and cheer together and be connected to sports somehow, even for those of us who are not sporty at all. Where was this photo taken? Oh my god! Evidence that we have met before That's we worked amazing. together. That's amazing! It, it was an awards show. It was an awards show. I'm that, a little I, bit pregnant. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> um, was it like a Critics' Choice Awards? Oh, hey! Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. That is crazy. Yeah. Oh, Aww. I love it. See? Look how beautiful your hair Hair and your oh, mouth looks so cute. Pretty. My hair is really long there. Yeah, yeah really so long. Pretty. Which Beyonce song includes a quote from your character in The Big Lebowski? I don't know. Who knew she has? Did you know this? No. She has. She quotes The Big Lebowski. It's in French. That's not helping. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Do you have a favorite Beyonce song? I think all the single ladies, right? That's, I love that song, yeah. In No Strings Attached, Ashton Kutcher hands you a bouquet of what? Carrots. Do you think, can I expect to see you doing any more rom-coms in the future? I would love to. I would love to do more rom-coms. I never get offered them. 
I've recently gotten a few that are like dying lady rom-coms. Oh, oh, I hate those. And I was <laughs> like, is that my age now? I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I'll find one that's a living lady rom-com. Right, right. I get the like the second time around rom-coms. <laughs> you know, divorced people or people whose spouses have died. And you're like, this is all so depressing. <laughs> You returned to your soap opera roots in 2015 on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Whose lyrics did you quote in the sketch? I think it was Taylor Swift. Was yes. it? I can't believe I remember that. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. I love Taylor Swift. Uh, my daughter really loves Taylor Swift. And my dog often listens to Taylor Swift <laughs> when we leave the house. And, and well, you know, because I'm like, Alexa, Play Taylor Swift, <laughs> <laughs> so that she has something to keep That's her company. That's so cute. What is Julianne's zodiac sign? That's also something. What's it? You Sagittarius? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 yes, yes. yes. Okay. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Do I believe in astrology? Um, you know, ish. Yeah, I like it. Okay. What is Natalie's zodiac sign? Natalie is a Gemini. Mm -hmm. It's it's highly compatible. That's right, because and it feels right. It does. It feels good. Ugh. What is Padme's first line in The Phantom Menace? I have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. What? You know, do you know my first line in The Phantom Menace, the first Star Wars? I didn't, I, to be honest with you, I didn't know who Padme was. <laughs> Great. <laughs> really doing, doing well. What is it? You will not be so pleased when you hear what I have to say, Viceroy. Oh. Who would be your dream director for your next Star Wars movie? Maybe Greta Gerwig. Mm. I mean, she's my dream director for any movie, so I'll say her. Which designer did Natalie wear to the Cannes premiere of May, December? Oh, that's easy, Dior. <laughs> it was like one in the morning and it was pouring rain and it was so exciting. Yeah, but we were tired. We were yeah, tired. We were tired. <laughs> and yeah. we were wearing these dresses for yeah. a very long time. Mm -hmm. But they were beautiful dresses. They were beautiful. Your dress was so beautiful. Thank too. you. You did look beautiful in Dior. And you looked beautiful. <laughs> Most important. <Thank> you. <laughs> Last song you listened to. Um, I think it was probably some Taylor Swift that my dog was listening to when I turned it on. Mine was uh, Solange Cranes in the Sky. Okay, last thing you Googled. What did I Google today? I just Googled the dinner menu at the restaurant I'm going to tonight because right. I like to look ahead of time Absolutely. and think about what I might want to eat. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's smart. I, God, what did I Google? I was on your lunch restaurant earlier that you Googled. Does that count? Yeah. I looked at <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> Terribly. I did terribly. <laughs> yeah, I'm better than her. I won. She gets the <laughs> bragging rights. <I> <laughs>